Hello YouTube viewers, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to this video, I'm Venkat and this is Just Me, an open source channel. Um, in my previous video about i3, we started everything from scratch, right? So we downloaded Manjaro i3, uh, which is an i3 edition, and we used my Ansible playbook to configure i3 and we played with it for a while. And since then, a couple of users asked me um, if they've already got an Ubuntu GNOME edition running, Ubuntu machine running, how can they install i3 on top of it? So that's what we're gonna see in this video. And um, the Ubuntu version that I'll be using for this demo will be Ubuntu 1904. And I'm gonna show that in a virtual machine. So I've already got a virtual machine with Ubuntu 1904 setup and where I'm going to configure i3, install i3, let's see how it goes. So if you have followed my previous video from Manjaro i3, most of the steps will look very similar, uh, but uh, I also need to mention that the Ansible playbook that I've got in my GitHub repository, uh, that was originally designed for Arch Linux, so all the commands, packages were based on Pacman, so in order for that, playbook to work with Ubuntu, I had to make some changes. So it's all in the GitHub repository. You can look at the uh, uh, various commits there. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna close this terminal and open VirtualBox. And Ubuntu i3 clean, so I've already uh, played with it. I've tried installing i3 and everything, so it's all working perfectly fine. And I've snapshotted it before doing anything, so I can revert to the snapshot and then try again and again. So now let's start it. Let me um, restore the snapshot. Let me restore the clean snapshot first. Okay, so that's done. Go back to machine details. Let's start the machine. Okay, so. All right. So I haven't done anything with this virtual machine. I just installed Ubuntu 19.04. It's a very uh, clean, freshly installed Ubuntu 19.04. I haven't done anything to it. All right, so let's change the resolution to 1440 by 900. That should fit my screen. All right, um, there we go. So I've got my user, Venkaten is my user ID. I'm logging in with my password. So this is a blank Ubuntu 19.04 machine. No changes or no packages installed or anything. So I'm gonna show you how to start from scratch. You might already have some packages installed, but don't worry about it. So we have our Unity desktop and now we are going to install i3 on top of it. So if you've got any desktop environment already running, uh, you don't have to start from scratch. You don't have, you don't have to uh, remove or do anything. You can install i3 along with other desktop manager and when you come to your login screen you can select which desktop environment you want to log into. So let's do that. Right, I'm gonna open up a terminal. Oh, I don't want two terminal, I just want one terminal. Okay, let's make it a bit bigger. All right, so this is Ubuntu 1904 and we are going to install i3, all right? So which git? We don't have git. And the first step is to git clone my uh, my i3 repository. So for that, we need to install git sudo apt install apt install git and enter my password. All right, so git is getting installed right now. And once that's done, we're gonna clone our GitHub repository. And then we also need to install additional packages, which I'll come to. I've got all the documentations in my uh, GitHub documentation. Git clone HTTPS github.com slash just me and open source slash my i3 cd to my i3 and in here the first thing you're going to do is like i said in my previous video you have to edit setup.yaml file and then update your username here in my machine here my username is set to venkat n so whatever you've got your username set to update that in this file that's the only place you need to update all right so once you've done that 
go to docs directory and uh, look at Ubuntu specific uh, documentation all right get Ubuntu specific MD so these are the list of commands that we are going to run install prerequisites so we're gonna install git ansible python curl and i3 uh, in the previous video we didn't have to install i3 because we installed the Manjaro i3 edition that comes with i3 uh, pre-installed uh, but here uh, we don't have i3 so we are installing i3 right we already installed git so we just need to install ansible python curl and i3 minus y all right so that's installed let's look at the documentation again so we've done uh, the prerequisite bit and the next thing we're going to do is we need to install i3 gaps in manjaro i3 uh, it comes pre-installed with i3 gaps, but uh, in Ubuntu, you have to install i3 gaps. i3 gaps is not uh, available in the official repository, so you have to download the source, configure it, install it yourself, or you can go with some third-party uh, repositories that you can add and install i3 gaps. So I've got a repository, PPA, that I'm going to add. Copy and paste. Enter. And then we're gonna do app get update and app get install i3 gaps. You don't actually have to do app get update because it's already doing that right now. So I can directly go ahead and install i3 gaps. i3 gaps. All right, so once that's done, uh, I think we should be good to run our Ansible uh, command. So go one directory about and in here we have uh, the ansible configuration cat readme we've done uh, the ansible installation cloned a repository we are in the my i3 repository so the command to run is this one copy that and paste it all right cool and sit back and relax it shouldn't take more than a couple minutes because I'm not installing lots of packages, but if you want uh, to bootstrap your machine with a set of packages, go ahead and edit uh, the Ansible playbook. It's under the tasks directory and whatever um, software you want, packages you want, you can um, update the tasks and the configure packages. I'll show you where it is. But I didn't want to bloat uh, the setup by adding more packages. You might want less packages, I might want more packages, so I didn't bother to add a list of packages. So uh, I'm gonna leave that with you to add the packages. Or if you don't want, you can always add the packages later after the Ansible run. Okay, now it's copying all the configurations and it should be good now, okay? LS and we have uh, the tasks directory, CD to tasks. And in here, edit configure packages.yaml. So here's where I'm uh, installing the packages. I'm setting the packages that I want to be installed by Ansible. If you want, you can add packages here. All right, so that's done. Go on directory about. And what else we need to do? Let's go to docs again, and I'm going to install Z shell. So cat zsh.md. We're gonna install oh my Z shell, and we're gonna install zsh auto suggestions as well. All right. Um, do we have Z shell installed? No, we don't have. So let's install it. sudo apt install minus y Z shell. And once that's done, uh, we can install oh my Z shell. But in Manjaro, Z shell comes uh, pre-installed. So now we are good to install this one. Oh my Z shell. Paste enter. I missed an S at the beginning. Okay, so, oh my, this is going to change your default shell to Z shell. Whatever your default shell was, either TCSH or bash, it's gonna change that to Z shell. It's asking whether you want to change your default shell, yes. Password to confirm the shell change. Cool, so we have Z shell installed. Cat zshell.md now we're going to install the zsh auto suggestions plugin copy and paste it git clone 
okay right that's done go to your home directory and edit the .zshrc file go to the place where it says plugins and add zsh auto suggestions zsh dash auto suggestions all right so that is it we are good to go now so all right so now we are going to log out and then log back in and i'm going to show you how you can log into your i3 environment click on your username click log out log out i know this will change my window size that's okay let's resize it all right so click on your username enter your password and before clicking sign in click on this little gear icon and you can see i3 i3 with debug log and so on so i'm going to select i3 this is just one time operation so every time you reboot your machine you don't have to choose this i3 because it's going to remember your choice so once you selected i3 the next time you reboot it's going to select i3 unless you want to change it to the default ubuntu environment so select i3 click sign in and we will be in our i3 environment cool so that's our i3 environment and you can see the i3 blocks status bar here and my shortcuts should be working now so if i do um mod shift enter yeah cool so that's our um terminal that's working fine oh my z shell plugin zsh auto suggestions not found why is it so all right cd to my i3 and then cd to docs cat zsh md plugin zsh auto suggestions that's right i think that's what we did okay let's do that again just that command okay close the terminal and open it again yep that's looking fine git clone and you can see in the background it is auto uh, suggesting the command that we entered previously and if i hit right arrow key it's going to fill that command all right cool so that's the such auto suggestions that's working fine and that's rofi everything is working editor text editor rofi is working fine um all right so that's another terminal that's another terminal i3 tiling window manager working fine let's see if the notification daemon is working notify send hello how are you all right cool so notification daemon is also working and let's see if we can open the file manager there was an error creating the child process for this terminal failed to execute ranger well, okay i never expected that which ranger there you go that's the problem okay sudo apt install ranger let's install ranger uh, so you don't have to install ranger by the time you watch this video i would have already updated my ansible playbook to uh, install ranger as part of the uh, initial provisioning setup so don't worry about installing ranger you wouldn't see that error so now let's open the file manager mod shift f cool so that's our ranger that's working fine cool um let me close this and the background is black let's change the background all right so i'm going to open nitrogen and uh it doesn't show any wallpapers at all but always you can uh, add your directory so under directories add your directory where you've got all your wallpapers i don't have any wallpapers uh this is a blank fresh installation of ubuntu so i'm gonna choose the systems background directory go to file system go to user uh, share and then backgrounds so here you will have some of the files and click ok and there we go we've got some system backgrounds which one should we choose let's choose that one click apply and then click 
mod Q to close the window. There you go. So we've got our background ready. Um, control, sorry, mod, control, delete. You see the options to, for exit, switching the user, hibernate, reboot, shutdown. That's working fine. And if you want to lock your screen, uh, mod L, that will lock your screen. It's going to blur your screen. Whatever you've got in your screen, it's going to blur. And just start typing your password. All right, so there we go. And whatever you have it open, uh, let's see if you've got that open. And if you close the screen, it's going to blur your screen. It's going to take a picture and apply some blur uh, thing to it, convert it to the uh, blurred image, and then lock the screen with that as the background. All right? Enter the password, and you are there. All right, so I think that's all um, there to show you. All right, so for those of you who uh, asked me if I could do a video on Ubuntu, here you go. So I think, I hope you found this useful. If you've got any questions or any issues, or if you're using different versions of Ubuntu, Ubuntu 18, Ubuntu 16, I think it should be work, it should work similarly. Uh, I don't have to change any steps or anything, but I haven't tested it on Ubuntu 18 or 16. The only version I have tested is Ubuntu 19.04. And uh, if you are having any trouble or any problems uh, getting this working on any other distribution of uh, Ubuntu, sorry, any other version of Ubuntu, uh, please let me know in the comment. I should be able to help you. And thank you so much. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.